hello traders welcome to my youtube channel my space where i document my process the foreign exchange market please if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button and the double notification for more content like this for those of you that have been here before and helping me to track my money in the foreign exchange market I say thank you very much for being there, watching my videos and sharing ideas together so that we can all grow grow together. Yes, this is on a silver, silver USD and the Rwanda pair. So last week I had this trade. I had this trade on silver, which we had a break of a major level. A break of a major support and resistance like this. Major resistance. We had a break of this major resistance. We had a pullback. After the break, we had a pullback. We had a pullback into that region. We had a pullback into that region, and then I had my counter trend and drawn in this. And my entry to stay that at the break of the counter trend now with a four hour bullish engulfing then now engage and how the break of the counter trend now with the four hour bullish engulfing candle like this and my entries were here I had an entry here I had one entry on this pair because of how volatile it can be I had just one entry around here and my first profit target was at the 100% retracement and my second profit target was at the uh, Fibonacci minus 0 0.27 that's my second profit target and I had this trade for about 3 days 2 to 3 days and I had this trade and the first day the price was reaching around my entry consolidating around my entry profits go back to lose profits go back to lose blues back to red blues back to red around this region and on uh, Wednesday I guess when there was an interest rate price moved significantly in profit and around here I was pretty confused because there was supposed to be an interest rate hike which definitely there was more 25 and basic points so I had to move my stops to break even i moved my stop to break even and i wasn't still pretty sure about this trade going well so i had to close a percentage of this trade in fact let me just i closed the entire trade i closed the entire trade what i want to share with us is this. i closed the entire trade and price came off here and got shy of my TP1 and had this move boom down here. If I was still in this trade, I would have incurred this loss or maybe stopped me and break even. Yeah, so so I had two trades last week. One I had about 70 pips in profit, which I closed. It, the trade went in about a hundred and something pips. Yeah, 100 and something pips, but I close just about 70 pips. And this impulsive leg down here, which was news, came and stopped me out. If I still was thinking in this street, it would have stopped me out. Yeah. Like I said in my other video, I will show you the trade that I had on silver. This is the trade. This is the trade I had on silver. This week I pretty don't have any analysis on silver. I don't have any good analysis on silver yet. I don't have any analysis on silver yet. I don't have any analysis in TV yet. Yeah. 
To był Lynchy. First comes down here and breaks below this contract chain. I did not be interested in Silva. For his uh, way, if he doesn't uh, sustain between this region, then count me out. I won't be interested in Silva. Here. Let me see. It's running like this. Like this. Yeah, it's much better. So, I had only two trades last week. I had one close to 70 pips for everything. We got stopped out on one. What about? Can you bring them no matter? Let me check my journal. I remember that. Well, this was just. I had on T, but I got stopped out. <laughs> 